hey guys and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me on another video so today's video as you can see is going to be all about my debt I have my debt tracker in front of me and we're going to fill it out for the month of December if you are new to my channel what I do in terms of my debt tracker is compare any progress that I made last year to where I am currently in terms of my debt and I color in to motivate me to keep going so if you are interested in any debt-free journeys, cash envelope stuffings, and savings, that is what I talk about on this channel. So do not forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss on where we go next. Also, within this video, there are going to be a few announcements, so make sure you stick around until the end. But let's just go ahead and get right into filling out my debt tracker. So this debt tracker sheet is available within my budget kit that I have available on my Etsy. If you are interested in this sheet or any of the other sheets that I have showcased on my channel, the link to my Etsy shop is always down below. So be sure to check that out if that's what you desire. And as always, your support is greatly appreciated. All right, so let us get into this debt tracker because I'm real excited. So. If you have not been following the channel, I am currently working on my last two debts. I have my car loan and I have my student loans. And oh my gosh, guys, student loans got extended. So you know I am so happy about that. I don't know if it's January or February. I've been hearing mixed um, information, but all I know is that it's past December. So either way, I'm happy. So to start off, I list my debts. I am doing the debt snowball method where I am working from my smallest debt to my largest. So right now my smallest debt is my car loan. So I'm going to write car loan here for the first debt. And after I made my car payment for the month of December, guys, my car loan balance is at $1,535. Now, if you are following my journey, the big thing that is going on this month is me trying to get my car loan under $1,000. Now, if you watched my last cash envelope stuffing where I did with my side income, I will put the link up in the description if you didn't. We already have about $600 put away for our debt snowball. So, with that calculation, we are already under $1,000 and I am so happy and oh my goodness I like when I finally did the math and realized that I was so happy because I am seeing the end of this car loan and I cannot like I cannot wait until it's gone so this due date is always on the 20th so I'm going to write 1220 and the minimum payment that I do every month is $220 now, just in case you're unfamiliar with the debt snowball method, my actual um, car loan payment is $178. And all of the other debts that I've paid off, I've encompassed the minimum payment within that. So that's why it's like the snowball method where you keep adding more and more money. So that's why my minimum payment is this. So I always try to put at least $220. I hope I explained that I'm trying my best to explain it, but sometimes I know. I, I'm not the best at explaining things. But that is the situation going on with my car loan and I am super, super excited about that. So now we move on to my second debt, which is Great Lakes for my student loans. So I'm going to write Great Lakes. And as of today, the balance is at $20,698. Now I have just been doing the minimum payment on this and as I said, there's no interest, so all of that has been going towards the principal. For a due date, this is always due on the 26th, and my minimum payment is $263. So for a total for minimum payments, it's the same as it was last month, which is $483 a month that I'm putting towards just debt for minimum payments. But to get our balance now for our debt, let me get my calculator. So we see we have 1535 plus 2698. So that is 2,000, no, I'm sorry, $22,233. So the next thing that I do for my debt tracker is fill out last month's debt total. And to do that, I just look at 
my last month's debt tracker. So this was for November and we see that we had 23,571. So that is what I'm going to write here. 23,571. And to get the payoff to see how much I put towards debt for the month of November, I just do 23,571 minus where we currently are, 22,233. So that is $1,338 that I put towards debt. I feel like I always have to mention that, of course, I did put more money towards my debt, but interest took the rest of it, but I don't wanna track interest because honestly, that just depresses me. So for last month's debt total, that is what I got. So now I do my debt percent paid off. And to do that, I do my starting debt. So I started with 33,099 and I subtract it from where we are today. So 22,233. So we see that I finally hit the $10,000 mark. I put $10,866 towards my debt so far. And that has been eight months so far that I have been doing the debt snowball me method. So within eight months, I paid off over $10,000 towards my debt. If you would have said that to me at the beginning of this year, I would have thought you're crazy. Like I couldn't fathom even making this type of progress on my debt. So I am just amazed and just, I'm just proud of myself every time and I'm it, it fascinates me because I got this motivation from watching others and I hope that I'm also motivating you that you can do it if you just sit down and you know remember it goes at your own pace don't equate your progress to someone else's just you know focus on you and do what you can do all right so after all that let me get the percentage so we see that we have 10866 we now just divide that by our starting debt which is 33099 and if we look at that in terms of percent it's 33% but since my jar goes in twos I'm just going to write 32% and leave it at that all right so after I figured out all of the numbers the next thing I do is color in my progress to visually see what I've done so let me go ahead and get into that all right guys so here's the jar that I'm using to track my progress this jar signifies my entire debt, so my $33,000 worth of debt, that's what this is. So since we saw that we paid off 32% of my debt, that is how much we are going to color in for the jar. So I have my pink color to signify November, and let's go ahead and document this progress. All right guys, so there we have it. We are now sitting at 32% paid off. The jar is slowly going up each time, so that is always great. And now we can get into my progress tracker where I track my individual loans. All right, so here we are at my progress tracker. This is probably my favorite tracker, honestly, because it just reminds me where I started from and how much I have left to go. So on the front are all of the things that I paid off already and the dates on when I did them. But now we are working on the back with my last two loans. So first up, we will focus on my car loan. To do the car loan, we first see that we started off at 5,844, so 5,884, and we subtract it from where we are now. So as of today, we have the car loan at 1535. So that is $4,359 paid off so far. So that means I can color up until, hmm, you know what, I'm going to make the executive decision that I can color in to 4350 because it's just a dollar off and I want to color it so I'm gonna color up until that so let's just go ahead and do that all right guys so we are coming up on the home stretch of finishing this car loan oh my goodness 
Like, can you tell I'm excited? Like, I am so, so, so excited. So that is the progress we made on our car loan. And now we focus on my Great Lakes. So for Great Lakes, we see we started off with 22,802. And today we said we got it at 20,698. So that is, oh my goodness, $2,000 I've paid off for my student loans. So 2,104 to be exact. So that means I can color up until the $2,000 mark. Oh my goodness, even though I'm not like focusing on my Great Lakes, I still love that I'm making progress at least every month. So that's exciting. And then once the car loan is done, we will throw everything that we can at our student loans. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in. All right, so student loans has been documented and that is all I do to track my debt. So, so, so happy. So just to recap again, we are now at 22,233 and we are at 32% paid off. So a great month and a great way honestly to end December and to get started with the new year but now it's time for my special surprise announcement okay guys so one if you made it to this far of the video thank you so much for sticking around but let's just get into my surprise that I have so since it is the season of giving I wanted to spread a little holiday spirit this season since I am able to do so and you know just to show my gratitude and my thanks for you guys this was a complete spare of the moment thing and I have to give a shout out to my best friend for helping me out and figuring out what I can do so if you can't tell already i'm doing a little holiday giveaway to show my appreciation for your guys's continued support but i know you guys are all thinking what is it so let me just go ahead and show you so first things first i honestly do not think it would be a giveaway on my channel unless i gave away a notebook i love notebooks i collect them i just think they're so pretty and you can never have enough they're very versatile you can use it for whatever you choose so this is a cute one that i thought i would give away it comes with like a little strap and on the front of it it just says make it happen stay positive always choose joy be courageous seize the moment follow your dreams and i just think it's very cute and you know uplifting but a fun thing that it has is that it has like a little pocket in the back that you guys can like slip extra things in. I hope you guys can see it. Um, it's just so cute, I just love it. So yeah, it has standard notebook pages and yeah, I thought it was cute. So why not include it in this? So along with the notebook, I am giving away a wallet also. This is a nice sturdy wallet that, you know, I think would be cute. It has two zip compartments. On this side, it has a place to hold your money or your cash envelopes. Another little compartment. It comes with a, a tie if you want to turn it into a wristlet. It just goes right here in this little circle part. But I'm going to leave that in here and let you guys decide what to do with that. And then the other side just holds the same thing. So a lot of storage compartments to put whatever you want in it. And then on the other side, it has the holders for your cards and everything. And more compartments if you want to put money in it as well. And a little zippy part for your coins. So real cute. You know, I think it goes nicely with the book. That's what my best friend said, so. I took her advice with that and then lastly just to wrap it up I wanted to give you guys an Amazon gift card so that you can you know get some extra things that you've probably been eyeing because I know I look at Amazon probably a little bit too much but you know if you want to get any extra things for your budget needs or start the year off with something special that you've probably been eyeing for a while you are able to do so so it's a $25 Amazon gift card and I just hope you guys really enjoy and appreciate it. 
So the start of the giveaway will be today, December 12th at 10 a.m. and it will go until December 18th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is when I will be closing the giveaway. The rules in order for you to win the giveaway are very simple. You must one, of course, be subscribed to the channel, two, like the video or give a thumbs up to the video, and three, leave a comment down below telling me what's your favorite thing that you like to do during the holiday season since that is what we are doing right now. And also, if you don't like the holiday seasons, you can put that as well. Just let me know that you wanna be entered into the giveaway and I will include you. You must be at least 18 years or older to enter this giveaway and it is only being held in the United States. I will be picking the winner at random and it will be auto-generated within my video that I will post on Saturday, December 19th. That is when I will announce who won, so be sure to look out for that. But as always, good luck to everyone who does decide to enter the giveaway. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye guys.